What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a vehicle that failed inspection and then it tells you a whole bunch of stuff. Let me just turn my light away. And on this thing, it will tell you things that are not ready, okay? As you can see, not ready, catalytic converter. Uh, what else is not ready? Not ready, EVAP system, not ready, oxygen sensor. So there's a few things that are ready and a few things that are not ready. So I got a scan tool here. Today I'm gonna we're gonna take this car on a test drive, and uh, also we're gonna get it to ready, and we're gonna get this car inspected. So this thing has three lights here. You will see the orange one in the middle, and then you will see a green one. When that thing is green, that means the system is ready to go for inspection. Why would your car fail? Few reasons. The reason why it's not ready is one, you're not driving the car much. Two, you lost power. Maybe you changed the battery, or you went for a repair. You had oxygen sensor changed. But what I want you to do is, if your car does not pass, you need to drive this car. So anytime you put the scan tool on, you reset it, it's gonna um, go into a loop mode where the car is not ready. So you need to drive this car. So there's nothing wrong with the car because you already repaired it maybe, or maybe there's a code. So if you drive this car and a light pops up and this thing never turned green, you're not gonna pass for the goodness of the environment. So I would suggest you get take that car, have it repaired, even after the repair, you need to drive this vehicle. So this thing, you're gonna take it for a drive, maybe 30, 40, 50 miles. Let's see if you get lucky. I had a customer who drove almost 500 miles and then he passed. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this down there. You're gonna see the lights and things are not ready. They're gonna be flickering here. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna go take this car for a drive for about good 20, 30 miles. And then every time I drive 30, uh, 20, 30 miles, I'm gonna turn the car off. I'm gonna take this thing out, plug it back in and start it up and it will show us. Sometimes it will get ready, it will show you things green, but it's a good idea to shut it off because the cycles of the keys count, maybe 100 miles, 90 miles. So if it doesn't get ready, drive another 30 miles and then disconnect it, put it back in. But what you wanna do is never press that red button, that raise, raise button, cause you're gonna put it into a loop mode again. So things are gonna get ready little by little. Let's take this car on the road and we're gonna get this car inspected and passed because I know the vehicle, it has no issue, it had an EVAP code, the customer left the tank open and that's how he had the EVAP code. So let's get to this guy. Prior to going, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna EVAP system. I'm sure you guys seen my other videos. EVAP system is a crazy system. So make sure your cap is nice and closed. And I'll also check the seal on the cap. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna press this brake using that lever here. Where's my light? Where's all the lights? It's a mess here today. But we got our light right here. Up. So what I did was I pressed the brake with that rod here using a seat. Check your bulbs. It works. It works. It does not work. We're gonna pop this trunk open. Chain that bulb. But prior to that, we already know one bulb is out. And our regular lights works works headlights are on simple little things guys headlights are on and running pretty good and what we're gonna do is check our signal check our signal in the back i can see the lighting anyways we got one bulb out so it's very simple to change that this is my friend winston's car I'm gonna head to inspection today. First time ever I'm doing that. So we got this little guy here. We turn this counterclockwise. And we're gonna pull out this bulb. Okay. It's gonna be a quick little demonstration here. Single flare. Let's see if I have a single flare bulb here. There you go. Not supposed to be touching the balls, but right now I'm in a rush. We'll come back and clean up the bulb flare i might get something and just do it right now with my shirt and then let's put this guy back in ah let's close the trunk and we are ready to go to inspection okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the scan tool right now Engine is running and I might have to turn it off, but let's hook this guy up. Make sure you have your registration and license and insurance.
So it might not link when the engine is running. Let's see. Sometimes these some scan tools do link. So we're still waiting, waiting. I uh, probably not gonna link. Let's see. Okay, it, it is asking if it's a Honda. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna click on Honda here. Yes. And as you can see, all these lights that are flickering, they're red. And the other ones are green, so the system is not ready. EGR, oxygen sensor, uh, C, I'm not sure what the C is for. And uh, EVAP system is not ready. Those are the things that are ready. So what I like to do is I like to leave this thing right here. We're gonna drive it with that thing on. And we're gonna put some gas, he's low on gas. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive this car for a good 20, 30 minutes and then recheck what my scan tool says. So I started to drive the car and I did reset the meter right there. The trip A is zeroed out. And let's see. I'm gonna drive good 20, 30 miles. And the system been reset because the battery is completely dead and they, then they will fail you. If you go immediately, they will fail you until your system not ready. That's pretty much what our machine here is doing for us. It's telling us the things that are not ready, okay? The that's what this machine is for and let's see how it goes so we'll be back i'll be back once i have driven a bit so we drove about 10 miles and as you can see the egr valve system has stopped blinking that's the eg i'll take a better picture down the road but uh, this one in the bottom right there has is not flashing no more so one thing has got ready we're good there we're gonna drive a bit more Okay, as you can see, things that are not ready. And I'm gonna compare this to the piece of paper. All right guys, so uh, so far, look what we got. I drove a good amount of mileages and uh, we are at around 117. The orange light is still on right in the center right there. It has to turn to green. But that's what we're looking at so far. And uh, all we need is that catalytic converter. The C is for the catalytic converter. This baby's gonna pass, and I'm gonna hit the highway one more time, maybe another 20, 30 miles, and uh, I'm really, really far from my place, so let's see how it goes. So, I'm gonna refresh. Catalytic converter still not ready. We drove 136 miles, and we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Okay guys, the uh, light has turned green, everything is green, and we drove about 214 miles. You might want to disconnect this thing and take it, unplug it from the car, turn off the engine every cycle. So I'm going to explain that to you in the beginning of the video. So you do need to um, cycle the scan tool and the computer. I'm going to explain to you in details and uh, in the beginning, if you missed that part, go back and check it out. Okay guys, thank you for watching. And uh, not thank you for watching yet because we ain't done. I'm about to go straight to the inspection station. To admit one thing, for the age of this car, it drives pretty good. Okay, here we are at the inspection station. This is where we enter from. We're gonna grab our little card over there. They're gonna give us a little slip. And we're not gonna record any further because I do not want to disrespect anybody. So we're gonna leave it right here after we grab our slip. There you go. We got our slip and it's time to go in. See you guys on the other end. You guys leaving with a new sticker. I'll show you guys on the front, but it's all goody goody. That's how we're gonna do it. That's how you're gonna do it. Just drive the heck out of the car.